We're in the TrayPeg office and we're going to demonstrate three of TrayPeg's advanced barcode features today. One is TrayPeg's ability to deal with custom or bespoke barcodes that don't stick to standards like GS1. The second is, bar is TrayPeg's ability to deal with metadata which is embedded in the barcodes like weight or rabbinical codes. And the third is the integration with picking lists so that TradePeg can ensure you don't pick too few or too many items and it ensures that warehouse staff are alerted if they're making a mistake. So firstly over here we've got three barcodes. Each barcode actually refers to the same product but what we've done is embed some additional metadata here uh, which shows the weight, of the, the weight of the SKU and the rabbinical supervision code. Additionally none of these codes adhere to the GS1 standard. So um, in the blue text is the weight and in the red text you can see there is the rabbinical supervision code. And what we've done on the barcode scanner, which is also integrated into TradePeg, is to create a picking list. So this would represent an order that has come through and now the warehouse staff are told exactly what they're supposed to be picking and the barcode scanner will ensure that the correct items are picked. So if I point the scanner at the first item, it's detected rabbinical supervision code number one, as well as the product and the weight of the product. And then if I scan the second one, it's detected, again, the supervision code and the weight. And the third one, same thing again. And now what will happen if I try and scan an item again, Every time I try and scan an item that shouldn't be scanned, the barcode scanner gives me a vibration and it gives me an alert that I'm making an error. And this way it prevents the warehouse staff from picking too many of the same items.